The Buckingham Fountain isn't just a beautiful spectacle, it's a symbol of a beloved city, a tribute to a dear brother and a testament to human creativity and ingenuity. Dedicated in the year 1927, this stunning landmark was gifted to the people of Chicago by philanthropist Kate S. Buckingham in memory of her brother, Clarence. Kate's vision was brought to life by the combined efforts of architect Edward H. Bennett and sculptor Marcel F. Loyo. The fountain, with its breathtaking water displays and magnificent seahorse statues, was designed to symbolize Lake Michigan. The four states that border this great body of water are represented by the four seahorses. With 1.5 million gallons of water, the Buckingham Fountain is more than just a sight to behold. From mid-April to mid-October, the fountain puts on a show of water and light that captivates locals and tourists alike. The fountain has stood the test of time, undergoing renovations in 1994 and again in 2008. Today it's monitored by a Honeywell computer, ensuring its smooth operation and preservation for future generations. Despite popular belief, the Buckingham Fountain isn't the eastern terminus of historic Route 66. Yet, it has been featured in numerous TV shows and films, further cementing its place in popular culture. So, to recap, the Buckingham Fountain is more than just a landmark. It's a symbol of Lake Michigan, a memorial to Clarence Buckingham, and a testament to human creativity. It's a spectacle of water and light that has been captivating audiences for nearly a century. And while it may not be the eastern terminus of Route 66, it's certainly a destination in its own right, a must-see for anyone visiting the Windy City. There's a saying that goes, a city's identity resides in its landmarks. And indeed, the Buckingham Fountain is an integral part of Chicago's identity, a reminder of the city's history and a symbol of its enduring charm.